are. Keeping us all... Starting to wonder if you'd show up. could find work as a jester if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. A sorely deserved downfall, I might add. Blackith made the wrong enemies, and now it will cost her everything. Just keep safe out there. For me. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. <sighs> I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. Wandering, mostly. The adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents, on where they came from. And... Where I came from, too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. We had tea on his balcony. Tara even deigned to sit on my lap for a while. You know, I think entire forests must have been felled to quench that man's thirst for books. He seems to be doing well. In his element. Well, I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable little plans. None other. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains... complicated, let's say. But... She is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely, given time. 
but that's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. I don't know, which is just the way I like it just now. Perhaps I'll just stick a pin in a map and see what I find, or head to the docks in the morning and scrounge a berth to find somewhere new. I'd like to see the islands, maybe, or, or head south to Arm. I heard there's an enclave of werecats that hunt the followers of dark gods by moonlight. I'd love to see if there's any truth to that. But enough about me. What have you been up to? Oh, twist my arm and break it, why don't you? hit the spot. Don't be a stranger. You know, I never really imagined Withers as much of a party thrower. But then again, I suppose our camps weren't taking care of themselves while we were out gallivanting, were they? There's hidden depths in that lovable husk. Oh, no, that's all part of the fun. You know me. I can't resist a bit of mystery. Indeed. Healing can only do so much. We'd likely be dead somewhere out in the wilderness if not for him. Don't be a stranger. My, you'll make the others jealous if you spend much more time with me. Don't be a stranger. 